Switzerland certainly represents an infinite number of awe-inspiring sights, ranging from spectacular green valleys to magnificent lakes. Among Switzerland's most renowned attractions are the scenic mountains that grace its landscape. The Swiss Alps are some of the most majestic and awe-inspiring mountain ranges in the world and among the many great alpine peaks you could climb there, the Matterhorn stands above all as the most beautiful and iconic. The first Sri Lankan to summit Mount Everest, Jayantikurutumpala, now eyes the iconic Matterhorn peak in Switzerland. Why Matterhorn? Well, it's a beautiful peak. I mean, just Google it when you get home, you can see the photograph. Isn't that just beautiful? It's a stunning peak. And actually the route that we would be taking is pretty much just along this ridge here. So Matterhorn is also known to be a technical peak. When I say technical, it means that there is a lot more experience and expertise and skills that are needed to climb a peak like this. After climbing Everest, I guess, you climb the tallest peak in the world. So it's a peak that straddles the border of Switzerland and Italy. So it can be climbed from the Italian side and I will be climbing from the Swiss side, right? Um, it also involves ice climbing. Ice climbing is where it's another sport entirely, but essentially a sport that where you climb frozen waterfalls, right? So rock and ice climbing are both involved in climbing Matterhorn. So you can see it's quite steep, includes rocks, lots of ice, rocks, snow. So I'll start with this photograph. Actually, it's a, a, a meme, a gif, one of one of them. Anyway, <laughs> a poster that was done by Hashtag Generation. This was created as I came back from Sri Lanka in 2016 after climbing Everest. And you can see there it says, so, Gehanu Lamek Vage Andanda Epa, right? I'll quickly translate that. From the moment you're born, boys are told, don't be like a girl. And in a country where boys are told, taught not to be like a girl, we are very proud that Jayanti became the first to climb Mount Everest. And I think this thing of don't run like a girl, don't throw a ball like a girl, don't uh, do push-ups like a girl, right? Don't do anything like a girl because it's such a bad thing. It's sort of seen as a bad, a negative thing. But is it really a negative thing? I mean, I climbed Mount Everest like a girl, like a woman, and I made it to the top and came back down alive. And I'm proud of the fact that I did it as a woman, as a girl, right? And I'm nothing else but that. I mean, just only to add that, Remember that all of us face challenges in our lives. But, and all of us might be told, even as boys also face these stereotypes, right? Not only girls, because again, I've had many boys who come up to me and said, we're so glad you spoke about these stereotypes. And this was a 16 year old school boy who told me, because I hate rugby and cricket. And my parents are forcing me to do this sport. I hate it. But he wants to do dancing, you know, and go into the more cultural singing and dancing but his parents are not letting him do that. So, so just to say that these stereotypes affect all of us. But imagine a world where they don't exist, which means each of us can do and follow our own dreams, regardless of our gender, regardless of any of our identities, and be the best we can be. So I think the stereotypes only prevent us from being our best. And we need to remember that they are created by society. And if society creates these norms, Society, which means all of us, can also change these norms for the better so that we can all achieve our own goals yeah, and dreams. Switzerland offers a tremendous climbing possibilities and that's exactly why the very first Sri Lankan to ever summit the Everest, Jayanti Kurutumpala, is eyeing the iconic Swiss Alps. Firstly, a massive congratulations in advance. Thank you so much for uh, the congratulations. Thank you very much. The Swiss Alps is magnificent and awe-inspiring range of mountains in the world. What gave you the urge to take this initiative to climb the Swiss Alps? Well, actually, I mean, after climbing the tallest mountain in the world, people have always kept asking me, where do you go next? And for me, the answer is this, uh, Matterhorn, which it's not as tall as Everest. It's practically maybe about half the size in terms of height, but it is a much more technically challenging peak. 
and when I say technically challenging, what I mean by that is that it involves more rock climbing and ice climbing at high altitude, and that's something that for me I want to push myself. I want to challenge myself more um, and keep doing things that scare me because. I think it's important to do things that scare us because I feel that's how we can also grow as individuals. A beautiful hashtag of course, a climb like a girl. And for a stress-free climbing experience, what sort of a preparation have you made in advance so that you can raise the Sri Lankan flag right above the peak? Yes, so the preparation phase is a long phase. I mean, I would draw back to like 20 years of climbing, rock climbing and ice climbing more recently as well. And mountaineering like over like spanning across 10 countries, etc. All of that experience helps because for this peak, the past experience helps. I can't be a beginner to go and climb Matterhorn. Uh, the training currently in Sri Lanka with no ice or snow, I can only resort to like getting fitter in terms of strengthening my muscles. So strength and conditioning workouts. I also play ultimate frisbee, which is a fantastic sport for increasing your cardio levels, you know, because there's a lot of sprinting up and down and swimming, which also sort of expands your lung capacity. So those are the three main sort of, I have a six day sh training schedule for the past three months and that's something that I feel has helped with my fitness levels and will definitely help with uh, Matterhorn as well in the, in the days to come. Matterhorn certainly does matter to Sri Lanka because you're going to bring in pride once again to Sri Lanka and I'm utterly speechless at this moment because I'm truly, truly, truly inspired to be a true Sri Lankan and wishing you success all the way. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for doing this uh, interview with me. Thank you.